Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the cards in the game and I'm going to talk about how you set your game up ready for Panzer Orders tank battles. This is an example card. Uh, in the top uh, left you have the name of the card. This is a KB2. You have some stats here which is uh, orientated around combat which I'll explain. The first number of the two numbers here is the dice roll that you need this card to get to be able to hit its uh, enemy target in the game. The second number is the dice roll you need to get to hit an enemy infantry card in the game. Now in uh, this game in, in tank battles there are no infantry cards so you can ignore that second number. It's there so that these cards are compatible with the other Panzer Orders games. So first number, dice needed to hit an enemy uh, card, so an enemy tank or enemy vehicle. Second number, enemy infantry. The number in the circle is the bonus to the armor save which is used in combat and I'll explain how that works in the combat. This has got fairly tough armor so it gets a plus one. And the bottom right is any special rules specific to this card. So this KV1, sorry, KV2 has uh, slow um, and that's explained again in the rules what that means. And uh, in the bottom left is the number of points that this card is worth. So I'm now going to describe how you set up the game ready for play. In a two player game, you decide who's going to play the Germans and who's going to play the Soviets. In this example, I've got the, so uh, the German deck, so we'll, we'll use that as an example. Um, and the Soviet player takes 10 cards and the German player takes 9 cards. And the, the, the decks would be, uh, you know, shuffled. So, 9 cards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Put those to the one side. And the player can look at the cards they've got and they're going to form two battle groups. And a battle group is a collection of cards. So, for example, here we go. Let's put some of these in just to start with. Here's my two groups. These are the groups I've decided on. And when I place them on the table, I'd actually place them face down so that the opposing player can't see what is in my group, like that. And I would place them in a hold down position, which puts them in a defensive position, but actually turn them around like that. That signifies they're in a hold down position. So the important thing is the cards go down, face down, so the opponent can't see what they what they what you've got, and that they are rotated 180 degrees so that they're in that defensive position for the first turn of the game. Um, what cards I put in what groups is entirely up to me. Um, and I have to create two. So in this example, I've got a panther, a Jagd panther, a tiger, an elephant in that group. And these cards are in another group. To determine who goes first, you'd both uh, roll a d6. Whoever gets the highest number chooses as to who goes first. And once you've got your two groups set up, just put them out like this. They have to be two very distinct groups, so there can't be any overlap of the cards. Just like that with some space between them is how um, I regularly normally play the game. Once I've got those two set, those two battle groups set up, then we're ready to play.